Hi everyone, this is a video showing you uh, 16 minifigures of mine uh, that I consider 16 of my favorite minifigures. I have a video out there called six, my, my Top 16 Minifigures and a lot of people have misunderstood me and took it for me thinking, me saying top as to like the best, most expensive minifigures, most rarest in the world or something. When all I mean by top or favorite is out of my collection and my minifigures, these ones are special to me and are my favorite. Uh, it's my opinion, so I'm sure there are people out there that think these are pure crap. So, anyway, on to these 16 minifigures. I've got them in this black case. I've had it for a while now, and I finally picked 16 minifigures to display in them. Oh my god, done back there. Uh, this one's bigger, and to open it, I'm going to go ahead and lift this down. And there's a reason I'm uh, studded in is because it's too tall. Okay. Uh, these are the minifigures, and I'll just go ahead and start from left to right. This is for, uh, Old Alien. And the set's a long time ago. Take his helmet off. He's got a translucent like fish face. I think it may have been UFO. Uh, I may be wrong on the name. Now next I have some villains from Lego Agents. Here's one. It's really cool. He's got a hook arm, a robotic arm, and rubber hair. Black and orange rubber hair. Another villain is this guy. I forgot his name. He's got eight, le uh, six legs, and a bunch of eyes. Let's play him out. He doesn't peg into the board, of course, because he's got spider legs. And. This is his weapon. This is what he looks like with his legs out and his gun, but he does not fit inside the compartment like this, so I'll just keep the gun out. His hand, put his legs together. Basically, just lean them in there like that, and it pretty much works out fine. Uh, next villain. This guy has a really good face. He has a orange suit and a gold visor helmet. Here's a close look at his face. Really gold shiny teeth, patch, uh, red hair for his eyebrows and like holes in his head. Really cool minifigure. A really nice minifigure. Criminal type. Or uh, villain type. This is also a villain from the, I forget what they call it, it it's probably like a robotic droid, I can't remember, and 
translucent orange head. Pretty cool helmet. Back and front. We've got a couple more uh, Agents villains here. Next is this one. This is definitely uh, one of my favorite looking ones of all time. The white and neon hair and the trans uh, green head. Looks like he's covered in ooze. Okay. And back is. hair is uh, rubbery. It's like the, um, uh, I think it's called the Mad Scientist in one of the minifigure, Lego collectible minifigures uh, series. One of them has rubber hair like this. And my last Lego Agents villain is this guy. I'll remove his helmet so you can see his face better. Very nice. I like the trans green heads. I just like the look of it. Catches the light very well. I think the minifigures from the LEGO Agents uh, were really unique. And a little change of uh, theme here is Ham from the Trash Compactor of Toy Story. And since it is the trash set, he is dirty and scared and sad, worried. And if you shake him, and he is a bank, and Take his rubber cork out. There is coins inside of him. He is a real piggy bank. I think that's very neat about him. That you can actually take his cork out. This one actually comes with coins. I think the other hams do not. They just they still have a plug and they're not dirty but they don't come with coins. But they'll still take coins. You can put some if you have some. So that's ham. And down here, I have uh, some agents. I think this one's Chase. I sound stupid saying I think because he came in like every most like a lot of the sets, and it's been so long like I'm forgetting what names are. So I like the new, uh, well, not new. I like their uh, agents armor. I think they look good with it on. 
Got a female agent here. She got lipstick on. The short black hair. It's really cool. She's a female spy. I think that's their spy. She's female. Next is this guy with the flat top. I just find his hair piece and I think he's a good looking minifigure. The hair and the beard and the grit grin teeth. Perfect character for something. Okay, those are the three agents. And I have Indiana Jones in a suit. I included an Indiana Jones in my last uh, video showing my top 16. This time I've got Indiana Jones in, dressed up in a suit. He's got a whip and a pistol. Like I said before, I to this day I uh, still watch all the Indiana Jones movies even though they are old. I think they're really fun to watch. And they're, I consider them to be some of my favorite movie series. And here's the blonde from Indiana Jones and the uh, Temple of Doom. The singer. I can't remember her name right now. I'm going blank on it. Blue eyes, very blonde hair, and red lips. Nice printing on her blouse. From one of my all-time favorite movies she's a character from. And right here is Mad-Eye Moody from Harry Potter. I think it's the Goblet of Fire. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I could be wrong. Mad Eye Moody. Got the peg leg, silver peg leg. A lot of printing on his vest and everything. The eye. And this kind of blondish hair. Light brown hair. He's just a uh, favorite of mine amongst the Harry Potter minifigures I have. He's some, one of the oldest ones I have. And next, another Toy Story edition is Zerg. And he is incredibly tall. He's so tall, in fact, that if he is on the base, like this with the base in, he will not fit because his points are too tall. He does not go under there. So all I do is just keep this like this. Push it. <clears throat> Push it to the back. And you can stand him in. He fits now. And with the door lifted shut, he stays there pretty well. And here is Zerg. Very tall, very purple. The villain from Toy Story. It's a Disney minifigure just like Han. I think he looks very neat. And to someone who doesn't maybe collect Lego, uh, they if they see that minifigure, they'll they'll think it's really like it's cool to see Disney minifigures. And lastly, I have one of my Anubis from the Pharaoh's Quest line from the Pyramid. It's got a broad sword and a scarab beetle shield. And just really amazing detail. Blue lines on his body. Let's see if I can get it to focus in such a dark uh, minifigure it's hard to get it to show that dark blue on the black Let's see if I could there it's kind of showing it
This is an amazing minifigure, one of my all-time favorites most definitely. I've got two of these guys, came two with the uh, pyramid. This is just a headpiece. Probably came in a separate bag, I'm assuming, but I can't remember at this point. And just ornate gold all over, which would be, you know, very uh, rich, uh, very uh, valuable, like, gold jewelry that the fair of Egyptian, like, pharaohs had. They're always adorned in gold. And they have these nice scarab beetle uh, shields from that theme. I don't know if they're ever going to release any more sets of it. It'd be nice. Of Pharaoh's Quest. So, that completes my video. So that completes my video showing you 16 more of my favorite minifigures. I encourage you to please check my channel and uh, check out my other top 16 minifigures. That's what I have it titled. And it's not that I say uh, I like those more than these. Those I just have a lot of minifigures to go through and those happen to be the ones I pulled out and thought were... Uh, worthy of displaying in a display case. Uh, I of course thought that same thing for these and I hope you enjoyed looking at them and I've enjoyed showing them to you. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.